It's the first meeting of all stakeholders at this level since the federal government's directive to us on enrollment on IPs. The visitors present a number of grievances and prayers to President Buhari. The payroll system is expectedly one of them. The federal government will significantly prevent and control corrupt practices in Nigerian universities without the disruptive intrusion of the IPPIS. IPPIS violates the laws of the Federation, violates university statutes, and violates agreements between the federal government and ASU. Despite the stiff opposition put forward by ASU, members of the university community have largely complied with the directive. The university's academic and non-academic staff are about 137 thousand and uh, we have been able to enroll 96,090 of this leaving a balance of 40,926 uh, personnel not yet enrolled this is as at the end of December the minister says this however came at a cost noting several lapses that the IPs will address ASU during the enrollment exercise in some uh, institutions had physically uh, assaulted threatened and embarrassed members of the team that went out to do this enrollment. During the course of the assignment, we found that there are staff that are visiting universities in more than one, one place. She recognizes the peculiarities of the university system, promising to accommodate them. The Minister of Labor and Secretary to the Government of the Federation agree with her. I believe now that she uh, ministry have identified the areas, and you also are saying the same thing. There should be no point of disagreement. Honestly, I believe we need your support in this particular direction to ensure that the remaining 40% that are not registered are registered as quickly as possible. In all, the president who chaired the meeting urged ASU to comply, urging for careful study of constitutional provisions to ensure harmony and promote efficiency. A statement by the president's spokesman, Mr. Femi Adishina, quotes the president as saying, the future of the country depends on quality education and our certificates must be credible to inspire confidence. The president directed the Minister of Education to put in more effort in ensuring that Nigerian universities are properly funded with adequate infrastructure and staffing. President Buhari says henceforth, education will be top priority in the development goals of the country. While government insists IPs will help proper record keeping of personnel and save costs, ASWI is offering an alternative that it believes will serve the same purpose, especially if visitation panels of universities will be reconstituted. From the presidential villa, Ibrahim Adra, Channels Television News.